Chapter 5 The weight of the house's history pressed upon Sarah's shoulders as she embarked on her quest to unravel the remaining mysteries. She ventured deeper into the labyrinthine corridors, her footsteps echoing through the silent halls. Each room she entered held fragments of forgotten lives, like echoes trapped within the walls. One particular room caught Sarah's attention, a study filled with shelves of weathered books and yellowed documents. Dust danced in the slivers of sunlight that streamed through the grimy windows. The room seemed frozen in time, untouched by the passage of years. Curiosity compelled Sarah to examine the books, hoping to find clues that would shed light on the house's dark past. As she ran her fingers over the spines, a volume caught her eye. Its leather cover was worn. Bearing the title, Diary of a Reluctant Witness. Intrigued, she carefully opened the book. The diary belonged to a former resident named Samuel Montgomery. His words chronicled a descent into madness. An account of his encounters with the unseen entity that had plagued the house for centuries. Sarah delved into Samuel's tormented musings, sensing a kinship with his struggle. According to Samuel's entries, the unseen entity had not always been a malevolent force. It had once been a protector, a guardian of the house. But over time, it had been corrupted, twisted by dark forces that sought to exploit its power. Samuel, in his relentless pursuit of knowledge, had stumbled upon the entity's true nature but he had paid a heavy price. In the later entries, Samuel's handwriting became increasingly erratic, his words a tangled web of fear and desperation. He spoke of shifting shadows, of whispers that burrowed into his mind, and of the unseen entity's insidious manipulation of his thoughts and actions. It seemed as though he had become a mere pawn in the entity's grand design. Driven by a determination to uncover the truth, Sarah continued her exploration of the house. She discovered hidden passageways that led to forgotten rooms, each unveiling fragments of the house's dark history. In one room, she found a collection of old photographs, families frozen in time, their expressions a mixture of joy and sorrow. In another, she stumbled upon a box filled with faded letters, revealing stories of heartbreak and loss. The whispers of the past guided Sarah to a decaying library. Books lined the shelves, their pages yellowed and fragile. Dust motes floated through the air, stirred by her presence. As she browsed the titles, a book stood out, an ancient grimoire adorned with arcane symbols. Its very presence seemed to hum with latent power. Sarah hesitated but ultimately reached for the grimoire, feeling its weight in her hands. She knew that this book held the key to unlocking the final secrets of the unseen entity. As she pored over its pages, a realization washed over her, the entity's corruption stemmed from a ritual gone awry, a misguided attempt to harness its power. The grimoire detailed the ritual, an intricate ceremony that required precise incantations, rare ingredients, and a vessel to contain the entity's essence. It spoke of the ritual's potential to either restore balance or amplify the entity's darkness. Sarah knew that she held the fate of the house in her hands. Sarah embarked on a mission to seek out the vessel, the means to contain the entity and restore its original purpose as a guardian. The whispers of the forgotten guided her to a hidden chamber deep within the bowels of the house. The chamber was bathed in an ethereal glow, emanating from a pedestal at its center. Upon the pedestal rested a pristine crystal orb, a vessel capable of holding the creatures. Sarah approached with caution, her hands trembling as she lifted the orb, feeling its cool weight in her palms. As she held the vessel, a surge of energy coursed through her, an amalgamation of fear and hope. She knew that the ritual was her only chance to restore balance. To set right the course that had been derailed by past transgressions. With each step, she grew more resolved, the weight of responsibility settling upon her shoulders. In the heart of the house, surrounded by the lingering presence of the unseen entity, Sarah prepared for the upcoming ritual. She gathered the required ingredients, whispered the phrases passed down through generations, and channeled the collective strength of the tormented souls. 
The chamber pulsed with energy as Sarah placed the orb on the altar. Carefully reciting the final words of the ritual. The unseen entity's essence stirred, its ethereal form manifesting before her. It hesitated as if it is drawn to the familiar vessel, yearning for redemption. With a surge of determination, Sarah sealed the entity's essence within the crystal orb, its malevolence captured and contained. The chamber trembled, echoes of the unseen entity's anger reverberating through the walls. But the house itself seemed to exhale as if relieved to be freed from the burden of this darkness. As the echoes subsided, a profound silence settled upon the house. Sarah knew that the unseen entity had been restored to its original purpose, a guardian tasked with protecting the house and its inhabitants. The scars of its corruption remained. But now there was hope for healing and redemption. As she stepped out of the chamber, Sarah sensed a subtle shift in the house's atmosphere. The shadows seemed less menacing, the whispers of the forgotten softer and more forgiving. But the journey was not over. There were still loose ends to tie, stories to be told, and closure to be found. Sarah vowed to honor the forgotten, to ensure their stories were heard, and to create a legacy that would endure beyond the shadows of the unseen entity.